public schools, the KRA, we have two weeks that we give it before the kids come. I think by using the data that you get from the KRA and just the questions that are answered by the student, it, it just gives you a good basis of where they are starting their readiness skills and where they're at in terms of readiness for kindergarten and school. When given the carry at the beginning of the school year, it really helps me know what those students already know before coming to me. So I have a good understanding of who who's where, you know, maybe what we need to work on, if we need to eliminate some things or just, you know, start backwards a few steps. It gives me just a good starting point. Lots of brown. So we do a one-on-one -on -one appointment with students. Um, we have them come in, we let them start to color a little picture first, just kind of let them get comfortable. We do ask them some basic things just to identify some colors and some shapes, and then we kind of go in with some of the KRA questions. So it is done one-on-one -on -one with a student um, answering questions for us. And then if we do need to finish up anything else, we do use the iPad that's given to us by the state um, where it's read to the kids and the kids answer the questions. So part of it can be done on the, on the Chromebook or the iPad. And it makes it go faster for you because you do have that piece where you can put a kid over there and you know toggle all of them and it'll just go through what they need to do. Um, and they, can, just, they let you know when they're done and they're very good with touch screens. So that goes pretty quickly as before when you had to do everything on paper, you'd have to head, take time out of your day you know, to, to every kid individually. Because you really don't get all of it done in that appointment that we have before school you will never get it all done. I use the results in my classroom. I group students um, in small groups and it helps me to group them. So I can group them by their ability. If all of these kids are at this level and these kids are a little bit lower, it helps me to group them to get a better group to kind of you know, dive in deeper on what skills they might be missing or lacking or need a little bit more instruction on. Um, we look at a lot of things like the phonics skills and just basic early literacy skills that are needed for pre-reading and just kindergarten skills in general.